Hi, I'm Rob. And I'm Jenny. And we're here to do our first ever weekly wrap up of our Tropical Readathon. Yeah, so we're going to try and do this every week. Who knows if we're going to succeed, but we're just going to cover what we've read this first week of the March round. Um, so before we get started, we have some housekeeping. The registration and the entrance for the TBR giveaway have all closed, so hopefully you've gotten those in. Make sure that when you're updating your points, you're using the same username that you signed up with because you've already had to go through and correct a bunch of submissions. And so you can check that at the participant list on the announcement post. And what was the other thing I said? Uh, sprints? Sprints, yeah. There's sprints happening throughout the readathon at Tropical Sprint on Twitter. And I've also recently added a sprint bot called Sprinto to the Discord that you can use if there's no sprints happening on Twitter and you want to just have a sprint, you can have the bot start it. It was created for writers, so it talks about how many words you wrote, but we've just been using it to say how many pages we've read instead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you go to at Tropical Sprint on Twitter, you'll see every week we post a schedule for the, the upcoming, for that week's like sprints. So yeah, we also have a Google time. calendar, so you can look at the Google mm -hmm. calendar and that should convert times for you if you add it to your own calendar. Yeah. Okay, cool, All right. so I'll start. Yeah, go ahead. So the first book that I read was The X Talk. I listened to this on audiobook, but I have a physical copy. It's about a radio host. Well, she's a producer and she has this idea to have exes talk about dating advice, but then her boss convinces her and her coworker to pretend to be exes to do this show. And so that's what it's about. It's like a workplace hate to love-ish kind of romance. Big ex dating hate to love. Yeah. Good stuff. Oh, and then I rated this uh, four stars, I think. Uh, the first book that I read um, <clears throat> was The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow, which is the uh, team science fiction uh, team book, the old one. Um, this is a YA science fiction book about um, these aliens have invaded Earth, um, and there's there's still humans around, and the, one of the main characters is this uh, kind of teenage girl who uh, lives in New York City in kind of like an alien refugee camp, and then she kind of becomes kind of friends with like one of the aliens and uh kind of their story of like uh going through uh what's happening it was, it was pretty good i like that i think i gave it four i just checked on goodreads i rated the x talk probably 4.5 so <laughs> okay the next book that i read oh yes was that was it this oh no i don't think so. no it wasn't right yeah. uh so the next book i read was loki by Mackenzie Lee. This is the origin story for the Loki from the MCU. Um, and I rated this one four stars as well. Well, I guess not as well because I rated the other one 4.5, but I rated this one four stars. Mm -hmm. I think that other one was actually the second one I read. Oh. Um, the second one I read uh, was, uh, again, an audiobook. All of these I've read actually this, this month were um, <clears throat> an audiobook. And so it was a audiobook of The uh, Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, which is, uh, again, another sci-fi novel. It's kind of like a space opera ragtag group of people who, like, work on a, a ship that is kind of going on a mission to do something, and it's kind of a... I use it for the found family trope. Uh, I really liked it. It was, again, I guess they rated it four stars, but yeah, it was good. The next book I read was an e-book, so I'm just going to put my hands here on my face. Um... It was Blood of the Lost Kingdom by Kristen Ward, and that was for a blog tour. I rated it three stars. It's a follow-up to a book that I read on for another blog tour, and I have to sneeze. <laughs> um, it's about some like magic, weird, foresty thing. So, yeah, three stars for that one. Right. Um, the next book that I finished was one that uh, we actually were listening to together while puzzling and stuff. Um, so I only counted it for pages because we'd already gotten quite a way through it. Yeah, we started it. it, like, December 23rd or something like that on audio. Oh, yeah, yeah, we started it in a different country. Yep. Uh, The Chestnut Man by uh, Soren Spystrup. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, it's like a, one of these uh, Scandinavian um, thriller detective <laughs> novel things. Um, and I think it was pretty good for, for that kind of thing, I I think I rated it four. I rated it three. It's very gory and descriptive about this stuff, so just a warning about that. Yeah, yeah, no, there's definitely a lot of violence and 
including sexual violence. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. You said it's pretty standard for the genre. Yeah, it's, it felt it felt pretty standard for for the genre in terms of that thing, that kind of stuff. Okay, the next book I read was The Wondrous and the Wicked by Paige Morgan. This is the third and final book in the Dispossessed trilogy about gargoyles and other supernatural creatures. Um, so I read this for Love Triangle and I rated it three and a half stars. Um, the next book I read is No Book because I have not finished any more books, but I am currently reading uh, The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. Um, so this is like a horror novel. Um, Stephen Graham Jones is someone that we had a, a team book for horror, uh, mystery horror thriller a couple times back, uh, Mongrels. Uh, so this is um, kind of the story. It's It could be used for like, I think I'm using it for Blast from the Past. So it's the story of like kind of these four um, uh, Blackfeet Native Americans who like something happened in their past and like it seems like maybe this thing is like coming to like get back at them and exact its revenge upon them. Um, so I guess that's just me for the it's rest all of you. it. It's okay. All you so the next book I read was another ebook and it was <laughs> Undercover Princess by Connie Glynn and I also read this for a blog tour. It is the first book of a series that fifth book just came out, I think. So the blog tour is for both the first and the fifth book. So since I haven't read any of the series, I read the first. It's a very fairy tale oriented novel about a princess who goes to a school, but no one knows that she's a princess, which is why she's an undercover princess. And she kind of gets her roommate to pretend to be the princess once people, once the rumor's out that the princess at the school, she has a roommate pretend to be her. Um, and I rated that one four stars. I didn't use it for a prompt because I forgot that I had to read it this month. <laughs> um, the next book I read was the Black Flamingo by Dean Adas. I listened to this on audiobook, which is a shame because I was seeing some reviews that said that there's a bunch of illustrations in here and I didn't know because it doesn't say anything about that in the no, audiobook. audiobook. But I don't see any, do you? No, um, so that is a novel in verse about a gay boy who comes to term with his identity as a mixed race person and finds kind of identity and drag. I rated that one three stars and I used it for found family. I found some emojis. Oh yeah, the emojis the are said and, in the yeah. audiobook, so. <laughs> okay, and then the next book was another ebook. It was, I don't know why I'm making this really big the camp, the thing's not gonna be that big. Um, and it was A Night to Die For by Alicia, Alicia, Lisa Schroeder. And this was again for a book tour that I forgot that I was part of for March. And it is, the blurb for some reason calls it a romance, thriller, horror, but it is definitely a mystery. It's just a very <laughs> classic mystery um, with multiple points of view. Um, I rated that one a three stars because I didn't like the ending much. Um, and I used that for mixed media once I figured out that I could use it for mixed media. And then the next one is a spindle splintered, I hope, because I stopped updating yes. my Twitter thread after that. So I hope yes, this is the next book. Splinter. Oh, yeah, let me find her. Yeah. And this is a, it's not really a retelling. I used it for the retelling prompt, but it's kind of like a remix, as Rob would say. Remix. It's a, like a Sleeping Beauty remix about this girl who is terminally ill and so she's obsessed with Sleeping Beauty because she sees like going into a coma and being woken up by True Love's kiss as a better alternate than just dying. Um, so it's it's very interesting. It's kind of like a like a um, what's it when you have like multiple like a multiverse Sleeping Beauty type of remix which is pretty cool. I rated it five stars I think. That's happy because I got her that as a present. She enjoyed it. Um, the next one that I finished today, or I guess yesterday, um, was The Ivory Key by Akshaya Raman, which is the fantasy team book. Fantasy team book. So that's what I read this <clears throat> for. Um, it's about siblings who kind of, they're like a ragtag group of siblings who don't really talk to each other anymore. That's who, my word. I said ragtag. Sorry. <laughs> who <laughs> get together to try and find this mystical item that's supposed to help bring back magic. Um, I just finished this on audiobook and I rated it four stars. And that's 
that's where we're at. Yeah, I also have the Chestnut Man, but he already talked about that. We finished that together because we listened to it together on audiobook, and I didn't use yeah. it for a prompt because we only read like 25% of it in yeah, so March. Yeah. yeah, now you have to find the next book you're going to read. Yeah, I don't know what book I'm reading next. I like to vicariously um, experience all the choice of next book to read because I read so many fewer books than Jenny does. So I'm excited. <laughs> all right. So thanks for uh, listening to us and hope that your reading is going well too.